no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Emma. It's a shame you can't take it out. I know. Oh wow! This is pretty nice, isn't it's it? so spacious. Yes. You might need to crack that if it's uh, going to be the hottest day of the summer yeah. tomorrow. Hey, we're Raya and Louie. We've spent the last year and a half living out of a converted school bus in the US and a van in Europe. After driving our bus all the way down to Costa Rica and parking up in our new home, We've come back to Europe to visit our friends and family and to explore the hidden gems of the UK in our camper van. Today, we've met up with fellow van life couple Alex and Emma from the Travel Beans. And for 24 hours, we're all trading in van life for boat life in the Brighton Marina. Welcome back to our channel. We have got a very exciting few days planned. We have made some new friends. <laughs> this is Alex and Emma. They have Hello. a channel Hello. called The Travel Beans. A lot of you might know them. We've got some fellow van lifers. <laughs> And we thought that today would be really fun to swap our vans and bus to a boat. So we're gonna try boat life for the next 24 hours. We're in Brighton right, Marina. It's the most beautiful day. <laughs> Yeah, the sun is actually shining for once. So we're going to have a video on our channel and then we're going to have an adventure tomorrow staying on a school bus with these guys that they're going to have on their channel. So it's going to be a bit fun. It's going to be like boat life versus bus life. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go and check out the boat now. It's an amazing catamaran. We'll give you a brief little tour and then we're going to go and have some fun in Brighton. It also happens to be one of the hottest days of the year. There's a heat wave in the UK. Some of my friends in the US have been messaging us like, are you okay? Yeah. Honestly, it, it's actually pretty good by the yeah, beach. So, it's so a small confined space for strangers. <laughs> yeah, the sounds hottest great. day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm pretty sure this is the boat. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? So you said you haven't stayed in a boat in the UK before? I have never stayed in a catamaran for sure. Nothing yeah. that nice. <laughs> I can't even imagine what the inside of a catamaran looks like. I'm pretty sure this is the boat. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if it isn't and someone's like, hello? <laughs> Wow. Welcome to our house for the for the, the next 24 hours. Wow. wow. So this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. 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 I guess this middle part's probably so much more spacious on a boat like this than compared to like a normal size. Exactly. Boat. Coming wow. from van life, we're like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else is like, that's tiny. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying, this is a bit excessive. Yeah. This is space. Four of us, this much space. Yeah. We don't need this. So we're gonna do a proper bedroom and bathroom reveal later, but we're just gonna go out to the front because the sun's just come out and it's just such a beautiful day that this is like the highlight, really. This is the perfect time of year to be oh, on yeah. a boat. Oh yeah. Captain Emma. It's a shame you can't take it out. I know. <laughs> if I do, it's probably a good thing. I don't think Andy of us could drive it. No. Andy said he might come out later and we could all pile on the rib and take that out for a spin. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, yeah. So we'll see. So the dream would be taking this down to the Mediterranean, right? And just yeah. So we've just changed our bathing suits and we're heading out to rent some bikes and go out to the beach because obviously heat wave, you've got to go to the beach. But I could totally see how people can live here in the marina. Not only is it like beautiful, but there's a ton of restaurants around, there's a grocery store. You can feel it's like a little community out here. It's so nice. We thought a fun way to get to lunch would be to rent these bikes. So we're all going to jump on them. Unfortunately, Emma couldn't get the bike unlocked, so we're going to try and find some more bikes further up. Until then, they're going to... Uh, a lot of a pressure on me. Two right on now. a bike, two on a bike. <laughs> There's a bike path, which is lovely, and it's only a 15-minute cycle to the pier where we're going to get lunch. I hope these guys are all right, both on one bike. Not always as comfortable. That wasn't working, so I'm going to get on the back of Raya's because she's got incredibly strong legs. Yeah, soul cycle's definitely paying off here. So I'm going to try... I have way stronger legs than you do. Yeah. Definitely. I think we've got in the flow. I'm hoping we just find another bike parked up. Wow, check all these camper vans out. What the heck? We should just come stay down here. This is surprisingly easy. I'm so, it feels like I've been training on my soul cycle for this moment. Is it this uncomfortable like if truth. I lean more against you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, there's little kids now. Oh, no. go left, go left, go left. I'm sorry. We're halfway there and we have found another bike station, so we've all got our own bikes now. That was incredible. Much better than us. Getting these bikes has turned into much more of a palaver than 
initially planned. You know, we were vlogging in the US and I said palava and Raya was like, that's not a real word. What is that? She's that never word. heard the word palava. Yeah. Pavlova. I was thinking of Pavlova. Do you guys find a lot of words that you kind of... Still. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, now. And the same with Emma, because she grew up in the States till she was 12. So there's some yeah. words and crossovers that she just doesn't know. Yeah. The other day, she'd never heard of a click your fingers. We say snap your fingers. Oh, yeah. click your but fingers. But I think that's an American word. Yeah. Is it? better <laughs> yeah yeah we were doing this once with uh what are they called segways yeah. and one of our friends just nailed it hard yeah. like into the sand <laughs> ready for lunch yes <laughs> We finally made it to the pier. <laughs> Woo! So cheap. Barely. 45 minutes cost £2.76, yeah. which is basically $2.76 yeah. nowadays. No, it's like three, it's honestly just over $3, which is amazing. I'm in awe of your ability just to vlog around people <laughs> so casually. So people. If this is Emma and I, we've been just trying to wait around yeah. and trying to sleep off. We're all really hungry, so we're going to walk to this vegan sushi place, which we actually found out about. <laughs> at this vegan festival we were at this weekend. It really is the perfect, like, light, refreshing lunch. So we literally ate this the last two days in a row, but it's so good and there's way more options here than there were at the festival. But let me show you this. This is so incredible. It's called Happy Maki. Yeah, look, they're a non-for-profit. They use 100% green energy, plant a tree, and feed a child for every meal. I think the most impressive is the zero to landfill. Yeah. Because that's like... You know, be able to recycle everything or compost or whatever. Mm -hmm. Super, super cool. Yeah. As expected, absolutely rammed. This actually looks like, you know, you've seen those newspaper pictures where yeah. they like zoom in to show how busy the beaches are. It's Search for our faces <laughs> in the newspaper tomorrow. Yeah. Unreal. It's supposed to be hotter than the Sahara. Is that what it said? It's hotter than Sahara. Sahara. In London. In London. In India. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just eat these here quickly because yeah. we're so hungry and then we'll go and find a quiet place to actually Maybe we can get some vegan ice cream too. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Sushi burrito. <laughs> I got the BLT burrito. What did you guys get? Fully loaded. Vegan chicken. Sweet potato. Loads of greens. Loads of sauce. Nice. I don't often have vegan bacon, but let's give it a go. Wow. That tastes exactly like bacon. We have just started wandering back down towards the marina and we just spotted this electric railway. I saw like the train going up and down. I haven't really noticed it before, so we're gonna head back on a train. It's the oldest operational electric railway in the world. Whoa. It's crazy. It's from 1883. Wow. Found the uh, train conductor's hat. Are you excited to go on the I train? Am. I'm not going on the train. <laughs> I'm weirdly excited, even though we're literally going one mile. I'm appropriately excited. <laughs> this is perfect to take us away from the busiest beach part. We're off. <laughs> How fast does this train go? Oh, about 100 miles an hour. Nice, nice. We're going on a tour of the various shades of summer. Here you This is such a fun job. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so <laughs> Halfway, this is halfway. If you come to Brighton to go to the beach, take this train and then you'll have like a secluded beach. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And you can park for free in the marina. Yeah. So, yeah. Love it. So there's a lot of camper vans parked along here. And I definitely think we should come down and do van life on the beach. The end of the line. That was wild. <laughs> Black Rock Station. All change, please, all change. That was a great shout. <laughs> that was so fun. My question to Emma and Alex earlier was, did they prefer pebbles or sand on beaches? I grew up on pebbly beaches and I hated sandy beaches as a kid. I think I've definitely come around since then, but uh, let us know in the comments, are you a sandy beach person or a pebbly beach person?
I've heard from friends that the sea here is ice cold. It's pretty cold. It's very, very refreshing. Yeah, that's a full body wake up that is. I kind of want to dive in. Doing the painful rock walk. Very painful. I also have very ticklish feet. <laughs> Tickling and painful at the same time. <laughs> this is a must on a hot day, especially in the UK. You have to go to the ice cream van, so. Amazingly, they've got vegan magnums here. I got a Calippo orange. I guess it's like frozen orange juice. Wait, do you not get Calippos in, in the US? No. Maybe. I think the first time I ever saw one was when I moved to the UK. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I think they do Ribena ones mm. as well, don't they? Oh, yeah, they yeah. do. Ribena. What do That's you call these classic. in America? Popsicles. Popsicles. That's yeah. a word. Oh, not ice lollies. Okay, we have bought some snacks to eat on the boat. So we're going to go back and chill, make the most of these late summer evenings. We're home. Welcome home. I'm gonna do a little tour. So this is the living room, and this is a table, right? Oh yeah, this is the table. So this lifts up to become a table, or you can make it like one big comfy couch, which looks amazing. And then the kitchen space. Wow, there's an oven. It's kind of everything you need, really. Ooh, that's fancy. I like that the layout of this because it's different to a van or even a bus where you've just got a long vehicle. Yeah, but this is just oval vibes. huge. Really cool. Behind us here, this is the master suite, bedroom and shower and stuff. Maybe I can just peek around the corner. Mm -hmm. So this is Andy's um, kind of private quarters. Mm -hmm. So we can close that, that off. We're not gonna be staying there tonight. Yeah, but then there's two guest bedrooms over here. And this could be a bedroom if you wanted to. Yeah, for sure. So we're giving them the bigger bedroom because we're good hosts. <laughs> and this is our little bedroom. <laughs> Which honestly is still bigger, definitely longer than our van. <sighs> yeah, this is nice because it's yeah. got a, it's got more room down there for like legs. Yeah. And then we can just be snuggy. Yeah, and then this is the coolest part. Oh yeah, there's a little hatch out to the outside. Window. This Everything, is very nice. Everything's really well lit in here. There's a lot of natural daylight. Yeah. I love it. Checking out the bathroom. All right. The bathroom. Yeah. Obviously, Louis is an extra large human. So think about that. He's six foot five. This is what they what? call a wet room mm -hmm. where you can have a shower on the toilet if you wanted to. <laughs> it can all get soaking wet in here, basically, and then it just all drains into the middle. Yeah. Do you guys want to come and check out your bedroom? Wow. This is pretty nice, isn't it's it? So spacious. Yeah, this is for you wow. guys. A bit, a, bit, a bit bigger than a, a van life bedroom. This is two times the size of our van. <laughs> wow. I'm actually really impressed. I was expecting to like have to crawl like into like a little bit underneath wow. the ceiling. Yeah. Did I overhear that you're giving us the bigger room as well? Yeah. yeah. Look at these guys, they're great guys. <laughs> I love that hatch to the roof. Oh, yeah. That's yes. really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And the aquatic themed pillows. I like those. so cute. Oh, that's that so is cool. Nice. You want to climb out of that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know? We're just saying, especially because it's going to be so hot, maybe we should just sleep outside under the stars. It might be like the only night warm enough in the UK yeah. to for it to be UK okay. history. Exactly. Maybe we <laughs> should sleep just outside. do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got options. We got lots of options. Yeah. What did we get for snacks? We got some tortilla chips, guac. For some reason, all the hummus was sold out. There's like a hummus <laughs> shortage. Yeah. And then, yeah, carrots. Ooh, okay, this is very exciting. We found basically like an unbelievable vegan soft cheese camembert alternative by Biolife. If you have a chance to try it, I'm excited for you guys to try this. Yeah. It's, it's indistinguishable between yeah, camembert. It blew me away. Andy's just shown up. I thought for some reason we were taking this little tiny uh, boat, but there's another boat. This is a bigger rib, and we're gonna uh, all jump on here and cruise over to Hove, which is the other side of Brighton. You might sort of jump in. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Oh, this is just heaven. What? I've seen dolphins from here before. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is, this is heaven. Holy moly. Just hold on to one of these if you need it. Oh, you got one over there. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the old slide and flop. Slide and flop? <laughs> the old slide and flop, you know? No, no, you need to like bounce off. Oh, you've made the mistake of testing the temperature with your feet. I'm just gonna slip on in. No, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your phone? I got my phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know what you're going through. I, I also hate cold water. <laughs> so uh, we have to dock the boat here, but we are going to swim ashore and just hang on the beach. We'll probably watch the sunset on the beach now. We have had a few different options and plans tonight, but. It's just so relaxing, we're not gonna try and rush around and do stuff, so we're gonna go swim ashore, meet some other friends, and then hopefully uh, cruise back towards the catamaran where we're sleeping tonight, around sunset. I was just saying, I feel like we're getting a proper taste of boat life because this is what it's like. You just come up to a random beach, jump out, swim up. Imagine just doing this around the Mediterranean or something. Mm. Oh my god. It would be so good. So good. Mm. I love you. <laughs> okay, we're walking out to the boat. The tide's gone out, so uh, it's super shallow now. Look at Andy, he's like about to touch the boat. This is wild! It's getting more shallow as we get closer. Also guys, Steve is here! You haven't been in one of the vlogs for so long! He's gonna come back on the boat. Yeah, this is I can see bright life. I am <laughs> shivering, bro. <laughs> Woo! If you don't know Steve, we've been friends for years. Yeah. Used to do a lot of stuff on YouTube together. Yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve had a little wrist injury recently. Yeah, first of all, I've only just come out of the cast, so as far as one hand did, trying to... <sighs> but I'm still gonna have to go on this boat. Yeah. You guys warming up much? Yeah, we've got yes. one towel between us. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably give you the towel. I don't think I've experienced anything like this in the UK before. No. Isn't it insane? It feels like we're on a lake. Like yeah. It's so clear, still, surf. Oh, wow. I love that your own country can surprise you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. After all these years. I feel like we're getting persuaded into boat life. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. This. We're like, every day can be like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want the cold and the storms and no. the... Rough sea, but this is just oh, well, this dreamy. Is yeah. Until I die. Andy and Steve are off. Night boys. <laughs> See ya. Okay, we're only just getting around to making dinner. We've just gone down to get some more supplies and uh, we realized it is 11 p.m. Also, it's 28 degrees Celsius at night in the UK. I don't think I've ever experienced this in my life. And we're saying it just feels so much like we're in the Mediterranean. It really the does. Temperature that it makes sense that we're having to chill dinner. So wild. Okay, we just realized that this 
window slides open. Yeah. And this. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this little foldy thing Fold. folds down. <laughs> what is it? A shelf? So nice. A table? I like to think it's a chopping table. Cooking is well underway. Yeah, we got yeah, Emma yeah. on the. Are those sh onions? Shallots. shallots. Yeah. Okay, those. Emma chopping the shallots. Raya's chopping the peppers. What are we eating tonight? We're gonna do like a stir fry, peanut saucy, rice noodle y thing. Awesome. <laughs> I like all of the words. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My job is to try and figure out how to make this couch into a table. <laughs> I doubt that's the. I don't think that's the <laughs> Oh! Don't do that. Do not do whatever you just did. Please say you're recording. <laughs> Andy, I'm really sorry. <laughs> what was that? Don't do it. Okay. I think that's the anchor. Yeah. I think that's the anchor. <laughs> it just said up and down. I was like, up and down. Brilliant. <laughs> He's up with the table. I don't, it doesn't feel like that's what's going on. Whoa. It is. It's exactly okay. what's going on. It wasn't electronic. It was just about brute force. Oh, right. There's more uh, stuff in here. There might be a frying Wow. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to more interesting things. So far, how are you finding a boat to cook on? Very nice. I can't figure out where the best like chopping space is, but I guess if the table was raised, then that would be the right place. And this is great when you have a helper. <laughs> I love the fact that this window opens. I mean, imagine just traveling the world and cooking and like, I know that van life is like this too, where you can see beautiful views every time, but there's something else about just being on the water. We're very spoiled with our first kind of boat life experience. This is obviously an incredible boat. It's only down from here. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, these look so good. We do need some though. All right. <laughs> It's just, yeah, like peanut sauce, stir fried veggies, rice noodles, and then we have a bunch of toppings like chopped peanuts and spring onion and um, coriander or cilantro, lime, yeah, all that good stuff. Perfect. That's so nice. I love all the crunchy peanuts and things in it. Mm. This is just as good yeah? as I remember. Oh, good. Raya made this when we were in Costa Rica in the mm. bus. And I think it might be one of the best dishes you cook. Oh. We've finished dinner. It's very late. We need to go to bed. We're just checking whether our ambitious idea of sleeping on the front of the boat is going to work. It's actually not too bad. This is the only issue. It's like 1 a.m. now. The sun rises at 5. Yeah. So, we're definitely gonna get woken up in a few hours, but it's just such a warm evening and it's so rare to have this in the UK that I kind of feel like we should do it. We're gonna try and do it. Good night. Good night. <laughs> we were a little worried about the heat, but um, hopefully with the top popped, you'll get some cooler air in there. I'm sure yeah. it'll be Louis fine. has been kind enough to give us a little fan as well. Yeah. yeah. I hope you sleep well. Yeah, I hope you guys have a blast up there. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, it is 1.30. If you're not in the UK, it's hard to describe what this feels like, but it's glorious. Also, if you're not in the UK and you're like, why are they talked about the heat 8 billion times? <laughs> it's because- it's very unusual. It's very unusual. It's beyond the temperature. It's just amazing. The stars, the moon, boats all around us. <sighs> I feel like for the next four hours, at least, we're gonna sleep very nice. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens after that. So we'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna try and get some sleep now and we'll see you in the morning, hopefully well rested. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Bright and early. I think it's 7 a.m. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the way we look. Firstly, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, 
Sometimes you have this idea in your head of what a romantic, nice thing would be to do. For instance, sleep on the deck of the boat, under the stars. It was pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. You went in, what, like 4 a.m.? Yeah, I think after waking up every 15 minutes or so and trying to like get comfortable, and I was just like, I'm just going inside. I want to get a proper sleep. I can't believe you slept so long. I though. stayed till 7, but just did not sleep well at all. So I came in, had a few more hours sleep in the bedroom. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How did you guys sleep? Yeah, like a dream, Surprisingly actually. Surprisingly well. Yeah, it was actually cooler in here than it was at your parents' place the other night. Another great yes. day. I know. Okay, I thought it'd be really fun to try out the shower. Okay. Nice. That's pretty good. And then, oh, it's chilly. <gasps> there might be a water heater we could turn on somewhere, but oh, no, it's still cold. But you don't need hot water now. Oh, but I think Andy told me there's like um, a water pump that desalinates and filters the seawater to give you water. So if you're out at sea for months, you've got unlimited water. I think that's the situation. And if it isn't on this boat, I know that's a thing. But if you're used to van life, this is an incredible upgrade. <laughs> I like a wet room as well. It kind of makes more sense combining it all together. Mm. Anyway, successful shower. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of our boat life experience. How did you find it compared to van life? Like, what are the pros and, cons? pros and yeah, cons? Yeah, anything bigger than a small <laughs> bed size space to yeah. me is huge. Yeah, so this yeah. is more less than bugs. luxurious. Yeah, a lot of less bugs. Yeah, because mm. our van is so mm. small, it's really more of like a camping van, I mm. guess. It was nice just to not have to deal with bugs for yeah, five yeah. minutes. <laughs> and to cook, like have a big kitchen space yeah. and mm -hmm. and multiple tables yeah. to hang out yeah. at. Yeah, Dining that was, room. it felt very yeah. luxurious. Yeah. I mean, obviously again, it's a beautiful boat, but just the space was like amazing. Yeah. I guess the only con is it's a lot more expensive to yeah. invest in <laughs> yeah. getting a boat like this versus a van. But you can definitely Ooh. find boats yeah. that for reasonable prices. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now how long do you think you could live in a boat? Oh. Yeah, it depends on the boat. If it's mm -hmm. something like this, I could sit, stay somewhere like this for months. Yeah, Absolutely. easily. Easily, yeah. Like do a whole season like around the Med or something. Yeah, or something like that's this. the thing. I was saying if it was like around the Caribbean, around the Mediterranean, I, I mean, I could yeah. do this for years. Yeah. But it's the like big ocean crossing that kind of scares me. Also, you've got to learn how to drive a boat. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's like, a whole yeah. other thing. It's very daunting. Yeah, yeah exactly. I yeah. feel like I would immediately crash it. Just like, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, let me reverse it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Because yeah. you can't just like slam the brakes on, you're just yeah. drifting Things, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it definitely feels like it's a greater barrier to entry, boat yeah. life, than van life. Um, but it's like a whole nother adventure. This has tempted me to maybe do a chapter of boat life at some point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm down. But I do think this is a high bar to like <laughs> yeah. find Sorry. a boat this night. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of all the knots. You know, I feel like oh, you've got yeah. to tie everything together. Oh, yeah, we'd have I don't to learn. trust my you know, knot tying skills. You're bad enough yeah. with the, the awning. Yeah, my, <laughs> to my shoelaces. My shoelaces are always undone. Yeah. So the boat would just be drifting out to sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 yeah. first boat life mm -hmm. experience, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, I think it definitely wins over van life and bus life. Mm. Ooh, mm. Yeah. I, I guess the only other thing is you've got the freedom of sailing anywhere in the oceans mm -hmm. but but then you can't go inland obviously. yeah you can't yeah. drive to cities or whatever that are yeah. in other places so yeah, the fact mm -hmm. that we like slept in our van under the eiffel tower exactly so stuff like that mm. maybe it's a combo maybe you have yeah, exactly. a boat and you have a van yeah <laughs> there you go That's the dream <laughs> yeah <laughs> Speaking of bus life, we are about to go and spend the night on a bus. These guys have never slept in a school bus before. Never before. And this, I mean, this looks like a beautiful school bus renovation. The most so, luxury, school, yeah, I'm way excited. nicer than ours. I'm excited for us to check it out and compare it to ours and obviously for you guys to see it for the first time. Yeah, but we're not great from our tiny van. <laughs> So yeah, make sure you go to their channel and we're going to be posting this at the same time. So the video will be live right now of us staying on the school bus. You can click it here. We'll link yeah, it in the video. Check it out right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you think. Van life, bus life, or boat life? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to go check out the video we filmed with Alex and Emma over on their channel. We stayed in a beautifully converted school bus and got so many ideas on how to upgrade our bus when we get back to Costa Rica. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the Travel Beans YouTube channel. Alex and Emma have been living in their van, traveling around the UK and Europe for the last year and a half, and are currently on their way to the US to buy a van out there. 
Make sure to follow their journey.